Hey guys, it's Pocky Trap and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and on my figure collection. <laughs> same name, Pocky Trap, same spelling. Go and add me and follow me. Thank you, but let's get started. Okay, so this figure video is going to be all about kimonos. Like since I got married and I got to wear kimono for the first time, like I've just been obsessed. Like I just can't stop. And before I had told you guys I was collecting wedding figures. So I thought like, why not pair the two? Like a wedding kimono. So like I was super excited that I was able to attain the lovely um, wedding kimono from the series Mason Ikoku. Like, because like for me, the all white kimono is like symbolic of Japanese weddings to me like and this was like the only one I could find with just pure white like I've seen many like shiromuku um kimono but like they always have like some type of like extra like color element to it and like shiromuku literally means like all white like we just want a white kimono and like most figure kim uh, most anime figure wedding kimonos do not come in all white for some reason they always add like an extra element to an extra color and like that's just not the traditional japanese wedding to me when i have my head so when this figure from mason Rikoko of kyoko came out like i knew i had to get it because i always love that series like rumiko takahashi is like one of my favorite authors so like ugh, in love rama nivu no ichi rama one half inuyasha Mason Okoku, One Pound Gospel. Like I've most like read most of her works or watched most of her works. The only one I haven't watched is like kind of a shame to me is like the series with Lum in it. Like, I'm sorry. Like I just haven't gotten around to watching it yet, but I definitely will someday. But yeah, besides that, like I've seen a whole, like even her recent one, like Rene, I've seen that. I haven't seen her one now yet, but I've read about it and like, I don't think they will ever compare my love to Rama have or Inuyasha, but like I'll give them a try at some point. But right now I'm just not emotionally prepared, but in a rant. <laughs> Guys, so let me show you. This figure is so gorgeous. Like sometimes simple is best. This is her all white Mashiro, Shiromuku kimono. Like she looks freaking gorgeous. This is a, the figure by like Fudio or F N E X, I'm not sure the pronunciation, but amazing Ikoku. Ikoku. Like when this figure came out, I like absolutely knew I had to get it. Like when I found out about it, it was like the pre-orders were already closed, so I was kind of scared I was gonna be able to get it. And like lots of stuff happened, but she's in my possession after a lot of mess. And I'm so happy because she's like the epitome of like Japanese, like traditional wedding kimono. Like let me show you this. Like, I'm such a purist. Like, I didn't even like wear the white kimono for my wedding photo shoot. I actually went with a Furi Sode, which is like the kimonos with the really long sleeves. Like, typically, married women don't wear Furi Sode, but like on your wedding day and stuff, it's usually okay because it's like you're about to move on to the next step of your life. So, I guess they give you a pass. So, like, for my photo shoot, I wore the Furi Sode, which I can no longer wear because I'm married. <laughs> but yeah, I wore the Furi Sode because, like, I didn't want to wear the white kimono if I wasn't actually having the marriage ceremony. If I do end up having a marriage ceremony someday, then I will wear the white kimono. Like, I just have to. But since I'm not doing it anytime soon, then I didn't want to wear it because I feel like, I don't know. It's just me. Maybe I was just feeling it wasn't be like kind of rude and disrespectful to Japanese people if I wore the white kimono and I wasn't doing the ceremony. But look at this guys she is so freaking gorgeous like all white white on white on white like this is the japanese the japanese wedding kimono and like the like the sculpt they did with the figure and the paint on her face guys they did her justice like she looks sickening like love it oh my god let me get her out of this box she's too pretty to be standing in this box like, I was actually shocked they did such a good job because it's so old school anime that I thought they were like, trying to like, lower the budget. But like, she is actually phenomenal. 
Hold on, let me get me some gloves because I don't want to touch her. Like with my plebeian hands. Hold on. What? Guys, why did I pick up the TV remote to like pause my camera? I'm tired. <laughs> pause. <laughs> let me get my boo boo. I have my gloves on, guys. So let's get into this beauty. She actually comes with an additional headpiece and she comes with the like, I'm forgetting to English words, the hood. She comes with the hood that they wear at the ceremony. So look, she looks freaking phenomenal. She is so gorgeous. And like the design they have on this kimono, ugh, to die for. I think this is the, um, this is not the hoe, this is the crane which is very symbolic in Japanese culture. It's like very rich. Oh my God, and they got the little tassel things they put into your kimono. Like literally, she's just all white on white on white. Like, ugh, I'm in love. Guys, I have to give you a close up later. She's just so freaking pretty and look at her nails. Like it's so simple, but so gorgeous. And like, that is what we look for here. We like subtle, subtle beauty. And little details with oh my god, he dropped this plastic. I'm gonna take her head out. She is just freaking gorgeous, guys. Look at her. I love it. Like usually like when you buy the other the um Shiromuku, they always have like a different color underlayer here and that weird accent. Like I just don't like that. I thought I would never get me a great wedding kimono, but like this ugh, it's freaking gorgeous, guys. This is what Shiromuku is. Shiromuku literally means like all white. Only white. All right. Let me show you like the additional hood. So like the um, bride always wears this hood that comes with the Shiromuku. put that on her like right over top yeah and this is what the bride did you look like if you see the wedding pictures or you see the ceremony or you, if you're ever in Japan <clears throat> and you go to the stride of day and somebody's happened to have a wedding like you will see the bride with the hood on like oh my god I love 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 this pose like they oh she also comes with other hair I'm gonna show you that right now but like I'm definitely gonna leave her with her hair up Oh my god. Okay. She has this other like head that she comes with with her hair down, but she looks really like she looks a lot like Kagome. <laughs> she looks like Kagome and Love mixed together. Like that's what she looks like. So I don't really like this head. But I will show you guys what it looks like in if I can figure out how to put this. In. Okay, so this is what she looks like when she has her hair down. She's still freaking cute, but like it doesn't give me the elegance, the eleganza, eleganza that she looks like when she has her hair up in the traditional style for the wedding. It's cute, but no. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give, give you guys one more close up before I put back on her her other head and her hood. She's so pretty. Look how she has her hair in the back. Like literally this is traditional Japanese wedding hairstyle right here. Love, love, love it. But yeah, that is the wedding kimono. She looks phenomenal. Like the design they have on this kimono is so pretty. Like you don't even need like color. Like it's just gorgeous on its own. Simple, elegant, uh, gorgeous. So that is the first kimono figure I got. Like, uh, so like I was only gonna get this kimono figure because I already have my um, Madoka Magical one. The one with her and her, her footy soda because she has a long sleeve. I'll put a picture of her later or maybe I'll bring her down off the shelf. But yeah, I was initially only going to get this fucking figure, but like, oh my God, one of my grails popped up in this auction. Like I just discovered Yahoo auctions and I went freaking nuts. 
Like, guys, guys, I went freaking nuts on y'all auctions because you could find so much good stuff on there. And I lost my mind, so I ended up getting a lot more other things too. <laughs> so it just became a kimono pre raid. So I introduced you to the Shiromuku, which is a type of kimono that falls on the category of Iromuji. So let me let me go set to suru. Let me explain a lot of the kimonos. So like for me, like there are many different types of kimonos, but I'm gonna narrow them to eight, like eight like basic ones or eight main ones. I want to say, but there are lots of different varieties of kimono. But I want to get into it. Let me educate you all, cause like I didn't know, but I had a inkling that they were the same. So the kanji for kimono, like you have this this kanji right here for. Kiru, which means to wear it, and you have this kanji here for thing, mono, and this means basically something you wear. So like back in the days, way back when, Edo period, like that era, like everybody wore kimonos because they were easy to put on, simple, like anybody, any class could wear them. And back then they were called kosode. So the kosode is what became what we know now as a kimono because it became longer and like at first it was something that only like nobility had the power to attain but then like as it went on it became a more common common thing so now everybody became to wear kimonos so there are like different styles of kimono and it tell, it tell you your like your class what class you are what type of family or what type of event you're going to like i didn't realize how like complex kimonos were until like i became like a kimono otaku like in like the last like couple of months so like I narrowed down the categories to eight because I feel like those were easy to explain because it gets really like komakai. you know. It gets very like details, like very like strict details and stuff. So I don't want to get too too much into it. So like I'm about to educate y'all. So if you guys want to know about the eight basic categories for kimono, we have furisode, we have tomesode, we have iromuji, homongi, sukage, suke uh, sage. <laughs> I don't know where I'm pronouncing that. Komo, Komo, and Yukata. Oh, and we have Hikizuri, but I won't really talk much about the Hikizuri because that's for the rich people. Like most plebeians, we will not ever wear these, or like most people don't wear it nowadays. It's like the super long kimonos that were really fancy that pretty much Geisha, Meiko, Michael, you know, those like girls who perform for like the wealthy or perform for like money and stuff. like. Only those high class like people ever wear hikizuri because it's like an average person couldn't get around in that. Like that is not something you're gonna do your daily activities and that's just not gonna happen next. Okay. So that those are the eight. So the furiso de which I said is like for like super, super formal events and like weddings and stuff. And then for like coming of age ceremony and young kids wear it, they're super, super formal attire, like maybe the most formal next to the tome, tome sode, which is also super formal, but it's usually worn by a married woman. And then we have the iromuji, which are like the solid color kimonos, like all white, like the shiromuku for weddings or like the all black kimonos they wear for funerals, but they also wear it for other important events like graduations and graduate ceremonies. But you know, like, the level of like formalness by the amount of crest. So like the crest on the kimonos are always gonna be like three or five and the three is like less formal than the five, but they're both formal. Like if you see the crest on somebody's kimono, that means they're going to like an informal event. And then we have, let me go back to the, the number four. We have the whole mongi. That's when you're, that's pretty much for when you're visiting somebody's home or you're like going to like a party or something that's kind of formal, but kind of not. Like it's like that business casual or like whatever. So that's what the whole mongi is kind of is. And like most brides, they also wear the whole mongi when they go meet the family for the first time. And it's all black, I want to say, or like a simple color. Cause it's, you're like, want to show respect to the family and showing that you want to blend and with them, like you're in this plain outfit because like you come to them like basically as a clean slate and you want to show them respect by saying like, I'm willing to blend in with your family or in order, uh, I'm willing to work with you and stuff. So I think that's really cool. And then we have the suke saga. That's kind of like not too formal. It's like, mm, and it's like in this 
area. <laughs> okay, so we have the Fure Soda and then we go down and then we have the Sake Sake. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And after that we have Komo, which is pretty much like informal, informal, informal. And then we have the Yukata. Like the Yukata is like the most informal. And like it, the Yukata usually was only for like, if you're going to like, uh, like the Yukata was pretty much like underwear. And then it evolved into being like a thing for you, what you wear when you get out of the bath. And then it evolved into something that people wear like all the time to festivals now. But like pretty much like kimonos were like a bathrobe. But now they're not a bathrobe. Like you could actually wear them and go to festivals and stuff. So yeah. So I'm getting back to my original point is that a yukata is a kimono, but a kimono is not a yukata. Like don't get it confused guys. Like like yukatas fall under the kimono category but like a kimono cannot be a yukata okay because kimo kimono is the top category okay the top category <laughs> but yeah let me get on my rant so let me go back and show you guys my grill that i got like, happy because i saw the price rising for this freaking figure it was like gone for like three months 30,000 yen and I was like fuck I'm never getting this figure because like the price just seems to keep going up even though I love this character I love 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 this character I'm like I'm never getting this this figure because the price is just too ridiculous but on Yahoo auctions I pretty much got it for like half the price of what it's going for now so I was super happy it's my baby it's Kana from May Dragon I was so happy yo oh my gosh she looks so freaking cute and like she, she was like close to new like in Japanese they say Mishio Nichikai it means like close to new or close to um, being unused nearly unused or something like that but yeah she looks she's in such good condition she's so freaking cute I was so happy I won her in an auction I didn't think it was gonna be possible but I did guys but I like kind of hate like Japanese like auction style because on Japanese auctions or I'm not sure if this is all Yahoo auctions like they literally won't let the auction in to everybody satisfy like it doesn't matter when the auction is like if it says oh this auction is to 10 o'clock and like you put it a bit at like 10:59, 30 seconds like they would put an extra five minutes on it so everybody's satisfied you can't just like cut in and steal somebody's bid like you could in other things like i think on ebay auctions you can't just slide in at the last minute and steal somebody's bid you have to everybody has to be okay and i'm like that's whack but anyway japanese people are like pretty chill so like i put my bid in and nobody really fought me at the end so i was happy about that <laughs> Oh, and I got Kana. She's so freaking cute. Hold on, let me take her out of all this plastic. Kana's so freaking cute. She's wearing a little footy so days with like younger people wear. And she's so freaking cute. You see these long sleeves. If you see a long sleeve like kimono, this is called a footy so day. And this is like really formal. And what they wear to special events, like kids wear this to like their, um, what is it, shichigo san? It's like five, seven, three. So when the kids are three, five, and seven, they all like dress up in this special event to show like they're growing and stuff. And they wear like cute kimonos and sometimes like the families go and get pictures taken and stuff. It's just a whole cute big event. So that, I think that's what they got the like inspiration for this from. But like, oh my God, kind of looks so freaking adorable in her footy so day. Like she's so freaking cute. They got the dragon, yeah. Oh my god. Look at the back. I love the way they got the like it tied in the back. I think this is called an Obi. But yeah. She looks so freaking cute. Oh my god. And she had her little shoes on. Like I have not been able to find these shoes in my sacks. My feet are freaking huge. So like on my wedding day, I'm actually wearing guy shoes. <laughs> but guys, don't drag me. I'm sorry, I'm a big giant my family oh yeah she's so freaking cute and she comes with like this base looks like cobblestone or whatever they have at the temples <laughs> even looks like it has some moss on it <laughs> that is so freaking cute i don't know if the person who owned this before did that but i ain't questioned it because like this is literally how like the, the stones look if you go to temples they kind of like have like this discoloration cute 
I'm dead, guys. Hold on. I'm gonna put her other like details on her too. Her other accessories. Sorry, I can't speak English. Oh wow. They take the thing back up for me. Thank y'all for taping and keeping my accessories secure. I appreciate it, but it is kind of mendoxai. Okay, and it comes like the little bamboo. <laughs> like this dharma and she comes like this arrow thing i'm not sure exactly what this arrow is for but like my friend told me like just put it up for like holidays or like special events i need to like google and find out what it's about i'm gonna get back to let you know but yes i actually have one of these in my house i made one when i went to guma because fun fact guma is known for making dharma they're really popular there and we got to meet like this master who like freaking did the damn thing like he's so freaking good at drawing like with the little pink brush looking thing oh my god i suck like my my daughter would look like trash like garbage <laughs> but he was so good and quick like i have to put a video of him i still have it but like he was so good that's why he's an expert and i not. but yeah these are like cute accessories that come with it has a like little board that you can buy at the shrines and write like messages on. I'm like they usually have this out on New Year's or like I think it, they show up for other events too but I've only seen it on New Year's in my experience. And then they have the Dharma which fun fact it usually only has one eye you don't draw on the other eye until your wish has been has come true so like I think it's funny that they use like the girl who's obsessed with her face on it. <laughs> I was say, they didn't like this hoe. They said that her all taped up. I wonder if this person even take out all the accessories. I feel like they did it. They were just like, I'm fine with this kind of. <laughs> but you guys, I'll put all the accessories on later. Like, look for that to that later on in the video. But right now, I just want to get to my next figure. So, Furisode. And we have Shironbuku, which is a Iromuji. Furisode, Furisode, Iromuku. Iro, hmm? Iromuji, Iromuji. <laughs> She's in a Shiromuku. And our next, like this isn't quite a kimono, but like I feel like it falls in that range because it's like, what are they, a ko tomosode or like kosode? It's like, I saw this figure and I thought it was freaking gorgeous. This. It's like the shrine outfit for like the shrine maidens wear. It's kind of like a modern take on it because like a shrine maiden would never have her arms out like this or like you would never see side boob, but it's asana and I thought it was cute. So I was like, you know what? I give it a pass. Asana out. is pretty close to the shrine maiden look if you ignore the side boob and you imagine this was like a whole top <laughs> like it, like the shrine maidens wear the hakama because this makes moving around easier and like this is this style it comes with all white kosode and like with some red details yeah I thought this was cute and I wanted to pair it. Cause I want to have like a whole, I want to get like every single design of a kimono of the figure. And like, like I said, I found a Yahoo auction and just went freaking nuts. <laughs> and I just pretty much bought anything that I saw that was a decent price. And I like the little accessories that came with this too. Like she comes with this thingy. This looks so dope like she comes with this thingy this little light thing or maybe this is a mini shrine i'm not sure what they were going for maybe a light and she comes with the little fan huh? she comes with the little fan i thought that was cute look at her i love i love the hakuma ha hakama it's just so cute like i love this red detailing and like the way they did the pleats and they gave like the nice shading on the pleats like ugh, 
this is to die for. Love, love, love it. Like, like I said, like you typically don't have all of this showing. Like this is a whole full type top, and it's a kosode or like ko tomosode, whatever you want to call it. But like, yeah, you know, they want to be a little, make her a little sexy, which I guess is okay. I'll give it a pass. <laughs> But I love like they did the little tie in hair back. It, it reminds me like Korean like formal wear when they tie their hair up and like put the bow in, in the back. But yeah, in Japan, the shrine maidens only do that. And I love like this cute like colorful woman. Like I, that's another reason why it stuck out to me because like it gives me like LGBT vibes, all the colorful rainbows, and I'm like represent. <laughs> it's hella cute. And this comes with another accessory, huh? Let me sit her down. Okay, I've seen these things before. I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe I'll like leave an explanation later of what this is, but like, yeah, maybe it's for like a ritual or something. Yeah, I'm gonna connect that to her thingy thing. And that's how it looks. Isn't that cute? Like, I love the details on this. It's so freaking cute. Another fun fact, like a lot of dudes wear the hakama on like special events, like their formal wear includes the hakama, like my husband wore it on our wedding photo shoot. And then like when you play um, karuta, which is like a famous old game in Japan, like they also wear these, like if they're going to like their official match, like they trying to go for the, to be the top player, I think. They're called like the queen or the king or whatever. But yeah, if they're going for a top match, they wear really formal outfits with the hakama and like the kosode. I'm not sure how you put this on. Is that good enough? Like she looks so freaking cute, guys. Love, love, love all the details. Oh my god. Gorgeous. Like I spent so much money, but like I got a lot of bangers, so I'm not even complaining. Like she is freaking gorgeous, guys. Like I just have to give you guys close up later. Gorgeous. So remember, guys, try outfits don't have all this boobage showing. No, no side boob, no like extra wear right here. It's usually like a whole top together. Oh, speaking of that, I have another one to actually show you what it's gonna look like. So I well, a lot of freaking figures. So I actually, so I told you guys I'm obsessed with Miko Takahashi. Like I had to get this one because I think Miko outfits are so freaking cute. And this is freaking Kikyo from Inuyasha. Okay, this is what a maid, a, a maid, a shrine maid's outfit is supposed to look like. See, like they have the Hakuma. She has a whole full top. It has like slits right here, but like you literally don't see any part of the upper arm. So this is what a traditional maiden outfit looks like. See how like they're similar, but for her outfit, she has her side boobage out. No, we do not do that. <laughs> we do not do that. That is not traditional or proper. That'd be quite scandalous in Japan actually, because they do not show that much skin. <laughs> they're all about modesty. I feel lately younger people are wearing more like revealing clothing, but like overall the culture is modesty. Now I'm mad at them. I think this is this is really cute. I love her. Like she's always been one of my favorite characters. I don't know why people are always like team Kagome. Like no, Kagome is annoying. I don't care what anybody says. Drag me. Like I love Kikyo better, and I feel like Kikyo and Inia should be together. And like. Go may go back to your own time because we don't want you here. <laughs> but yeah, she's so cute. Love Kikyo. I actually love this base. This color. What is this? A burgundy or I don't know. This deep wine color it looks so cute and rich. Love it. Usually, like I told you guys, I don't like black bases, but this is. They did a good job. This is fire. Ooh, I was low key debating whether I should get any Asha too, but I'm leaving that on a fence. I don't think they have a Songo figure yet, or do they? If they have Songo, I need to get Songo because she is a baby. But yeah, guys, that is it for my kimono figures now. Besides for my um other figure that I already showed you of Madoka, and she also is wearing a Fudi Sode. But she has like a little like scarf looking thing in front like I showed you before. But 
eventually I want to get all the different types of kimono that they have out there. So I still got what, like seven more. Mm -mm. No, I have six more types to go because I already have a Iro Muji and I have like the Furisode and I have the Kosode. So, no, I still have a lot because Kosode, I didn't add that in like the official list because Kode is like the really old time thing that eventually, I guess you could add it to the list. It's like the predecessor to um, kimonos. So like I have the Kosode, which is part of the Shrine Maze outfit. Or I show Kikyo. Koso de, which is like the short kimono. It's probably like this long, I guess. And then we have Furiso de. And we have the, the Iro Muji, which is the Shiromuku, a version of the Iro Muji. So I'm eventually going to get like all different like types of kimonos because I'm just obsessed with kimonos. I just want to know more because I think it's such a gorgeous and rich part of the culture. So eventually I want to have a whole like section of just kimono figures. Whew. I'm glad I got through that video guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you became educated and you learned more things about kimonos and Japanese culture. If you like to see more videos like this, please let me know. Please like and subscribe and follow me guys. Love you. And I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to look at the close-ups at the end of this video. Bye! Feels like love Cupid made a shot Straight into my heart Now I'm falling fast and my world's expanding Feels like love even though we're kind of nervous Together we'll be strong I don't know for sure all I know Didn't know what hit me when we started I was shaking electric Trying to stay calm and collected On that summer afternoon We were shining Like a gem in the sunlight We were riding to midnight, yeah Falling fast and my world's expanding Feels like love Even though we're kind of nervous Together we'll be strong I don't know for sure all I know feels like This feels like the sweetest breath of air Oh yeah It's amazing At the same time how you take my breath away Oh Expanding feels like love Even though we're kind of nervous Together we'll be strong I don't know for sure all I know This love is blossoming between us In yellow and indigo Taking over my body and soul Feels like love Cupid made a shot Straight into my heart Now I'm falling fast and my world's expanding Feels like love Even though we're kinda nervous Together we'll be strong I don't know for sure all I know Cupid made a shot Straight into my
Same time, how you take my breath away? 